Welcome back to the basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. It's mail time. Mail time. Mail time. It's mail time in the basement. Time for open mail with two mails. All right, let's see. First, we uh, last time on mail time, we read uh, we read this is for you. It's the dolly in the corner. Oh my gosh! It says. Fragile. We have it must two, be Italian. Two pieces of mail. I wonder if they did that open. on purpose. Uh, it was probably really fragile. It's a major prize. We have two pieces of mail. We're gonna uh, should we open the small one first, the big one second. Yeah, this one's big. It's got a question mark on it. Woo! We'll do this one second. Do you need a? Oh, you, you, you can't see a, the label, so you can't tell where the dress is from. Do you need a <laughs> tool? Yeah, we will want a tool. A multi-tool? Yeah, when here. we get to that point. I got it. Here, hold on here. Okay, uh, you can start working on this here. Yeah, well, when it's, time, when it's time to open, we'll do that. Why don't you open that one? Let's take a look-see. Well, we're going to have to get more efficient at opening mail when we start getting more mail. That's true, but right now, two packages, I think we can handle it. I'm very excited. I'm assuming, though, this might have you multiple things. So Package. We're... This is from R-W-B-Y Merlin, a.k.a. Jacob. Cool. I have an idea of what this might be, and I'm really excited. Whoa! There's a, hold on, there's a letter, and it's got a basement logo on it. It's got oh, it letterhead. Does. It's got the couch. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I love the letterhead. Dear Peter and Ted, I am R W B Y Merlin, or Jacob, and I recently decided to become a patron. Yes, thank you. I became one because I believe the basement is truly unique. Unlike most YouTube channels, you don't curse, scream inaudibly. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we do that. Sometimes. <laughs> or just generally cause my ears pain. <laughs> but despite all that classic YouTube stuff, you guys are genuinely funny and enjoyable. Aww. I will continue to support this channel as long as I am financially able to do so. Well, thank you. Jacob, thank you very much. And if at any point it becomes uh, a part of your budget that needs to no longer be a part of your budget, don't feel bad. Any support for any amount of time is always noticed and appreciated in the yes. basement. It helps us keep making stuff for uh, for all of you guys to enjoy. Yes, so, thank you. Truly, thank you. From the bottom of our farts. I mean hearts. I said... Did you say bottom of our farts? No. Yes, you did. That said, I sent some... Oh. Oh, Might that be coming oh, in a huh. different... Okay. Uh, yeah, there's another package coming. I sent some soda for you guys to try out on a video or something. It's Ooh. a local company called Fitz. Ooh, cool. Originally just a hot dog stand in 1947, they served the root beer with burgers and fries. Oh, when this beer. closed in 1970, production discontinued for 15 years. They bought a new location and still using vintage bottling equipment continued production. Cool. They went on to make many different flavors. Sadly, I could only send you three different ones. So I sent classic root beer. Great choice. You oh gotta start gosh. with just the baseline. I'm so excited. About Along with that. my personal favorites in orange and grape pop. Yes. That is it. That's an outstanding Triforce. <laughs> vintage bottling equipment. I would say soda. Yeah, I would say that is the holy trifecta. We're gonna have to get two straws. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> like a malt shop commercial. You know what also would be yummy? If we like got a little bit of vanilla ice cream and made each one into a float too. Oh yeah, we could do that. Rip your float, orange float, grape float. Those are all good floats. So it comes from St. Louis. This is good. Louis, to know. Missouri. I wish I could. Uh, I wish I could have sent some other classic St. Louis foods, but most would not have made the journey. If you're ever in the area, I would be happy to take you to try some classics. Cool! We'll have to let you know. I don't go to St. Louis very often. Well, maybe we need to make a trip. I also sent you a copy of... <gasps> Ooh, let's open it up! Oh my gosh! Spyro! Switch? Yeah! Oh my gosh! Thank you! Holy cow! Spyro Reignited Trilogy for the Switch. I would love for you guys to play it sometime. I would also love for well, now you we have to. to check out my <laughs> base on the basement realm. Hopefully it will be done when you get this. Don't read the coordinates on the video, please. Its coordinates are... <laughs> also, he gave us the nether coordinates, which is really smart and wonderful and kind. Thank you. <laughs> I love the nether coordinates. it's not super close to origin. <laughs> Oh uh, my gosh! That puts you at someone else's base. And then there's a bridge, hopefully with a minecart track, to take you to my base. Hopefully I can be there to welcome you to Camelot. If not, there are two rooms on the third floor specifically for each of you. <laughs> oh, 
cool! Uh, hope to see these things featured on the channel soon. I'll be in the comments until they do, and long after as well. For now, I think you guys are as rambunctious as a monkey with a caffeine addiction in the basement. Wow. P.S. If you like the soda, you can order it online. With regards, wow. RWBY Merlin. Also this is so Jacob. incredibly generous. Yeah, Thank super you. Super cool. Uh, uh, dude, do you know what this is? This is all three original Spyro games built into one. I have heard great things about Spyro. I've never played any of them. Me neither. Well, I, we're I, gonna I have played, to... I played a little bit of like demo at Target when it was new. We will definitely be... Kid. Do you have any physical Switch games? I have two. I have I Breath have of the Wild. Yep. And uh, Mario Kart. Oh. Eight. Eight. Deluxe. Deluxe. Yeah, I have Breath of the Wild and Odyssey. Oh, and also I do have like a Xenoblade Chronicles like sequel hmm. thing. It's not two. It's like Xenoblade Chronicles 2.3 or something like that. <laughs> which I played a little bit of that. Sort of... <laughs> Dude, thank you so much. We'll be keeping an eye on the old P.O. box for yes. us letting us know that that soda is. Oh my counter. gosh, this is so cool. This is the first game we've been ever sent in the mail. No, our very first video game in the mail. Dude. Ah! It's historical. Okay, briefly, super briefly, because we got a lot to get to. Yes. Um, when I was being inspired and wanting to do a Let's Play channel someday, I was watching a few channels. One of them was Game Grumps, and they would say, thank you, too, and then they'd have a list of people on the screen for who sent them that game that yeah, they were playing, and yeah. I was like, they, people send them video games. Man. That would be so cool. I'll never get there, even if I do start a channel. I'll never get to the point where someone sends us a game. Boom! Stinking happened. Trilogy. You guys are like making our dreams come true. Jacob, thank you very much. Yes, thank you, RWBY. All right. Okay. Uh, Gorod the, uh, package. Large pa package. This is from the Gorods. We read the letter last week. If you haven't seen that video, go and check it out. Uh, it was a lot of fun. The, the letter was so cute. And we still have the the pictures from the children that were sent along as well. Yeah. Are those around here somewhere? They are around here somewhere. You're oh, not going to be able to see them, though, because of the green screen. Oh, hey, by the way, Zelda. Why don't you talk about that while I get this package? Oh, yeah, you gotta you gotta start opening while I start rambling. Oh, I'm so, opening. Link's Awakening is coming very soon for the Nintendo Switch, and we are gonna be playing it here on the channel. Link is, uh, Link. Ted has played Link's Awakening before. Yeah, my, I've been playing it so much that I might as well just be called Link. <laughs> and he knows that it's a great game. I'm a Zelda fan, but I'm not, like, I really, really, really love the Zelda games I've played, but I've only played, like, half of the main ones. So, it was, a, it was a, a goal of mine for several years to play, to play, um, to play and beat them all. Them all. Yes. Yeah. And, and then about partway through Oracle of Ages, I was kind of like, meh, meh. I got a little bored with it. But I do really still want to play those games and uh, maybe streams or something. Well, I'm excited for Link's Awakening. Anytime I read like uh, the de top 10 best Zelda games ever ranked, it's like Link's Awakening is always the top five portable Oh yeah. game. Oh, yeah. Um, everything else that's above it is the, like standard console stuff o that you would expect. M G. All right, let's see what we got. There's another here. letter here. Check this out. Okay, it's a little scrunchied, but that's great. Greetings from the Gorod family of Goldendale, Washington. Hmm. We just got back from vacation to Oregon and Washington, so we thought we'd collect some things along the way and send them to you for all your enjoyment. <gasps> cool. Well, number one, you will find. Oregon Oregon license plate magnets. I found a Peter and Lisa with no problems. I'm not sure if Kelsey is spelled this way or not. And Ted, well, Ted wasn't on any of them, so I had to choose between Rockstar, Chick Magnet, or The Boss. I hope you picked Chick Magnet. <laughs> cool. Okay, we're just gonna read through what these are. Yeah, well, do you wanna do you wanna read and I'll find or vice versa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You find and don't tell me what you see in there along the way. All right, all right, all right. All right. Okay, so let's find those uh, license plate magnets. The, do these show up as clear? They do. <laughs> cool. So you can we all of the packaging. Ah! <laughs> Wait. Give me. Give me. Give me these. Oh, you got to not look in here. <gasps> I'm really excited for what I. <laughs> the word link is right on your face. I know. I was putting link in my eyes. Ooh. All right. You keep reading. Oh. Okay. Don't cool. forget. So we got light split magnets. Okay. Number two. You will find some roasted hazelnuts from Oregon, I, uh, through, though I grew up calling them filberts. That was before they got all fancy and tried to make them sound nicer in order to sell more. Filberts sounds less nice than roasted hazelnuts, I suppose. Okay. 
I also included some Marionberry jam from Oregon. Enjoy it with some of your favorite breakfast foods, pancakes, waffles, biscuits, or toast. Number four, there's a treasure chest from Oregon. Feel free to use that however you want. Oh, cool. Uh, or give it to the child you guys love the most. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. It says Oregon Coast and there's a skull and crossbones on it. Oh, cool. Well, it looks super cool. That's skull and crossbones after he died though. He was a pretty good guy before. Um, okay. Number five, a loaf of Tilmuk cheese from Oregon's most famous cheese factory. Sorry, I couldn't send a real loaf, but you said no perishable items. <laughs> <gasps> it's fake. Cool. Oh, it's fake cheese. That makes sense. <laughs> Oh, I've seen that around though. I feel like they, maybe they have it here or something. It's like a spongy sponge. There, there's so many like foods and yummy things to try. I know. There's also some cranberry marmalade from Washington. One of the many things our state is famous for. I can't stand cranberries. Hopefully you guys actually like them. I, I do like cranberries a lot, actually. So I like I've, them too. I've always had the dream of owning a cranberry <laughs> farm though. I just find the whole harvesting process fascinating and I wouldn't eat the profits. Right in the middle there, no white sugar. <laughs> That's funny. Did you did you catch that last little joke? He finds the whole harvesting process fascinating, and he wouldn't eat the profits. <laughs> like the minor profits? He does, no, because he doesn't eat cranberries. He doesn't oh, like cranberries. Anyway, so he'd be okay. a good plucker. You will also find a bag of Left Coast coffee. I confess I've never had coffee in my whole life. What? Whoa! That's an accomplishment. Oh my gosh, it smells good. Oh, uh, I wanted to grow to be six feet tall and people told me coffee stunts your growth. Not true, but uh, you know, good for you that you didn't get started on caffeine. Is that After I reached that height, I just became stubborn and refused to try it. My wife tried this coffee and said she liked it, so I thought I would send it your way to help you during the late night recording sessions. That's very beneficial and needed. And Alex, how tall are you? He said he, he did reach the height of six feet. Yes, good job. So maybe it works. Um, yeah, and uh, we will definitely be having this coffee and uh, we'll probably shout you out every time we drink it. <laughs> yeah, and you're done growing. Can I smell that? So you can I made a pot of coffee. I'm, I'm tempted to just dump it out. So no, we we'll we'll have that at the next recording. Well, I mean, I, you know, I could save it and make iced coffee for tomorrow. We can make this oh, well, oh, it's whole bean. Not if you dump it out. Oh my gosh. So we get to grind the beans. You know the real way to test coffee, Peter? Did you say nuts? Roasted hazelnuts or filberts. They say you are what you eat. Okay, Peter. This or nuts. Is, this is the good way to test coffee right now. Wait, you're what are you? You're not gonna ruin it for me, are you? What am I? What, how would I ruin it? I don't know. Spitting in it or something? You sneeze on it? I'm not, I won't sneeze on it. Put your goo in it. Peter, I am a coffee freak. Oh, it's the and I would treat plate it. magnets. I will treat it with utmost respect. But this is what I'm going to do to test the coffee right here. Kelsey's name is spelled correctly. Good job. Way to go. Mmm. Oh, that's a good coffee bean. There's Lisa. <laughs> Yay. There's Peter. That's me. Oh. <laughs> and then let's see what Ted is. Drum roll, please. <laughs> what am I? <laughs> The boss. <laughs> yes! The boss. The boss mint. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. In the boss mint. Who's the um Okay, you wanna try one of these hazelnuts? Who's the uh, American musician? Oh, there's still more there's still more things you would Known as about the boss. Here. Okay. Uh, you also find a variety of postcards, pamphlets, and bookmarks. That uh, must be what's in this envelope that says Be your fabulous self. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we will. Oh, we will be our fabulous selves. Wait, All right. Did, did you mention anything about a different jar? Yeah, hold on. Other jars? Uh, feel free to do what you want with these. Even though cycling vintage thought it would help show the journey we took for our vacation. Oh, we're definitely going to oh, look at those. fun. Wow, that sounds like an amazing vacation, guys. And thank you so much for oh, all the, thinking of us. The Oregon Trail, of course. Yeah, Dude. No, this would be, be fun to look. You know what? When we take a break later tonight, in the middle of our recording session, we'll drink some coffee. I think this that'll be when we Definitely. look through all this stuff. Definitely going to be doing that. Oh, okay. cool, though. This is the kind of thing that would, like, it becomes a part of the scrapbook, you know? If you make a scrapbook of your vacation, and it's it elicits good memories. Would you stuff. like a roasted oh, hazelnut? The cranberry harvesting process. Yep. Um, delicious. Mmm, you can hear it tasting good. Mmm, they're soft. All right, here we go. 
Number yep. eight. Yep. A Mega Man light as a housewarming gift for Peter. <sighs> There's a Mega Man light? Oh, cool! I know! What? Oh, that's close to green. Pixel Pals, Mega Man. Ba -ba -da -da -ba -da 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 -da. Now you can turn off the lights and not get scared. Da -ba -da -da -ba -da -da. I light up. That's cool. This is going in the basement recording studio for sure. Basement 3.0 at my place. Thank you so much for a housewarming gift. My goodness. Uh, a small vial of dirt from the Oregon Trail. Use it wisely. <laughs> Question mark? Use it wisely? Did you find a small vial of dirt? <gasps> a vial of dirt. Wow. Official product, Oregon Trail Celebration 93. Can I read the label Authentic really quick? Authentic Oregon Trail, trail dust. <laughs> Contains, may contain pioneer dysentery <laughs> remains. <laughs> I'm kidding. I made that up. <laughs> I heard dysentery and I was like, wait a minute. That sounds like Ted's joking joke. Uh, yeah. Oh, this dirt's kind of got a really cool looking... Don't uncork plate. it. I, well, yeah, I'm not going to uncork it. Cool. Cool. Okay. Oh, I'm going to stick it anyway, in the treasure chest. I hope this finds being. you all well. Congrats to Peter and his ham family for the new house. Thank we you. We really enjoy the content you all make. Keep up the work and continue to enjoy your families and friendship from the Gorads. Super, super generous wow. of you guys. So many awesome treats to try. And, uh, oh my gosh. I, mean, I feel I, overwhelmed. It feels like Christmas or something. I know. That's a <laughs> lot of great stuff. That's truly like a quality care package for sure. Wow. Thank Th you. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for, for all of you. You know, not just the guys who sent in mail. Uh, you know, patrons, viewers, you know, people who sponsor us on the channel. People who are going to send in mail. And guys, you don't have to send us a big box full of multiple amazing things. Letters are great too. Drawings are great too. Yeah, yeah. send us something from the heart. Yes. Don't send us your heart though. No. That's dangerous to your health. Yes, that's And illegal bad. to send Nine. human organs Nine in Nine out of mail. 10 doctors recommend keeping your heart inside of your chest cavity. In, in the, the basement. basement. A very important part of how The Basement is able to bring you the content that we do daily is our wonderful YouTube sponsors and Patreon patrons listed on the screen now. If you would like to join this amazing group of people who are helping The Basement to make even more content and do even more streams, you can go ahead and click the link in the description or on the screen right now. And we'd love to have you join us in making The Basement not just the friendliest place on YouTube, but the most awesome place on the planet. In our solar system. In our universe. In, in the, the basement. basement.